Welcome dear students, welcome to my next class on quantum mechanics. Today I am going to explain before you a function which is known as wave function and the physical significance of wave function. According to de Broglie's hypothesis associated with every moving particle there is a wave whose wavelength is given by the equation lambda equal to h by p where lambda is the wavelength of the wave and p is the momentum of the moving particle. These waves associated with particle are known as matter waves and matter waves are waves in which a quantity will be varying and the quantity whose variations make up the matter wave is known as wave function or wave function can be defined as the quantity whose variations make up the matter waves. So this wave function can be represented using the symbol psi psi capital psi which is a function of position vector r and time t in one dimension this can be represented as psi of x t if x is a single position variable then t is the time variable this is wave function but wave function we can say that it is a quantity whose variation which we make up the matter waves matter waves are waves which are associated with any moving particle but this wave function as such does not have any physical significance or the wave function of the matter wave is not measurable. It is not measurable. Then what does it mean or what will be having a physical significance? The thing which is having a physical significance is square of this wave function or if psi is a function which is a complex function. If psi is a complex function, psi star will represent the complex conjugate of psi. Complex conjugate of psi will be represented as psi star. So, the psi star psi will be equal to psi square or this represents the probability of finding the particle or psi star psi or psi square which will be same as psi square psi star psi or psi square represents the probability density or probability of finding a particle per unit volume. This interpretation was given by Max Born and this is known as Max Born probability interpretation. Max Born probability interpretation that is if psi is a wave function then psi star psi or psi square represents the probability density or it shows the probability of finding the particle per unit volume. That is if you are having a small unit volume of dx dx into dy into dz then psi square dx into dy into dz represents the probability of finding the particle in this small volume. That is the interpretation of or that is a physical significance of square of wave function. And also this we can take wave functions are mathematical functions but we cannot take any wave function as a any function as the wave function. There are certain conditions which are to be satisfied by a function to be acceptable as a wave function. Such conditions are known as admissibility conditions or acceptability conditions. We will see what are the admissibility conditions of wave function. Admissibility conditions for a function to be acceptable as wave function. We cannot take any mathematical function as wave function but it should obey certain conditions. The first condition is that the function should be finite, wave function should be finite and single value. It should be, it should be finite and should vanish at infinity. This should vanish at infinity, vanish at infinity because wave function represents the state of a system. That is if particle is not present or particle is absent at infinity then wave function should be equal to 0 at infinity. Psi should be equal to 0 at infinity and also if particle is present in, the, in a particular area, region there the wave function should have a finite value. Then the second condition is the wave function should be second condition is that the wave function should be single value wave function should be single 
value that is if you are considering uh, considering a function for example if you are considering sin x as a wave function if we put a value for x sin x should give a single value it should not give more than one value that is the wave function should be single valued then only a function should be single valued then only it is acceptable as a wave function then the third condition is function and its first derivative should be function and its first derivatives should be continuous first derivative should be continuous continuous I can should be continuous function and its first derivative should be continuous that is psi should be continuous because since particle is present everywhere there should be psi psi should not become infinity at any point where the particle is present and its first derivative should also be continuous that is dou psi by dou x dou psi by dou t should also be continuous that is particle and its uh, first derivative should be continuous and the fourth condition is that the function should be square integrable square integrable that is if we take the square of the function it should be integrable we have to integrate it why do we need the, why do we need the integration of square of a function or square of the wave function for the probability interpretation we need to take the square of the take the integral of the square so that if you are considering the entire region the probability of finding the particle should be equal to integral of psi star psi dx dy d is there. and if we are integrating it along the entire region that is from minus infinity to plus infinity this value should be equal to 1 if the particle is present there should be a finite probability of finding the particle that is this condition is also known as normalization condition normalization condition this condition is known as normalization condition that is within the limits psi star psi dx dy dz or in short we can write this as d tau which is equal to dx into dy into dz that is integral minus infinity to infinity psi star psi d tau should be equal to 1 which is known as a normalization condition because if particle is present there should be a finite probability of finding the particle in the set region so these are the admissibility conditions of a function to be acceptable as wave function the conditions are the function the function should be finite and should vanish at infinity should psi should be equal to zero at infinity the function should be single value and this the function should never give two values for the same point then the function and its first derivative should be continuous and also the function should be square integrable if you take the square of that function it should be we, we could we have to integrate it in order to find the probability of the particle so that is wave function and its physical significance thank you